Today, uh, we have the August Robotics team on site to test out their Lionel uh, point marking robot on an active job site. In our industry, we're used to using total stations. With the total station, you typically have a, a guy or three to four guys. You know, one guy running the total station and the, and the story pull, a guy following behind. Um, with the Lionel, the intent is that the robot can do all that work itself. Um, it can lay out the hole, it paints the hole. The benefits to me of using a, the Lionel robot is the freeing up of the human labor to do more value-added activities. The robot is not gonna completely run on its own. It needs to be watched and observed, so, and there's uh, trade input that needs to go into the robot. But once it's running, that tradesperson can go on and do something that provides higher value than marking points on the floor to, to the project. Specific benefits I see to using Lionel is number one, less wear and tear on, your, on, a, on the human body. Number two, accuracy. Number three would be speed reduction. It's something that can be done after hours. So, you know, the, the cost savings, you know, if, you, if you're owning the robot or you're renting the robot versus, you know, having to pay multiple people to do the same process, um, I think that's a benefit. Benefits the project, benefits the, the companies that are working with them, and it benefits everybody as a well. whole. I would say Lionel is different from the other robots that I've seen primarily in its networking system. Other robots that I've seen are tied to a particular robotic total station still. They're more, uh, more limited in the amount of area they can cover. Lionel comes with the experience of working over large spaces inside of convention centers, so they've developed um, a network capability to um, extend that and to have multiple robots running at the same time. Obviously, it's going to uh, up your throughput of point slate. As far as evolving, I think it's going to be really critical that, you know, the construction team's involved and, you know, using Lionel correctly. Just, you know, general adaptation to job site conditions. The job site that we're at today is very cold, it's very windy, it's not the cozy inside of a convention center that the robot's used to. It, it excites me because it just kind of, you know, shows where the industry is going. So I started, you know, 15 years ago in the trades and you know we were still laying things out with strings and, and chalk line and things like that now it's total stations we're hearing more and more about robotics um, getting young people interested in you know the robotics I think is more appealing than you know in the old days you know working in construction was just, just a lot of hard work and a lot of manual labor um, so that, that's what excites me about it.